Today we have modal verbs. This is primarily for class 9 in Gabon. It can also be viewed by the 10th standard students as a revision of what they have done in the previous year. Now, what are modal verbs? Modal verbs are basically verbs which show mood, just like the verb modal indicates uh, relating to mood. Okay, when you're talking about compulsion, obligation, necessity, probability, likelihood, okay, anything like that, any feeling, any mood of that sort, it is the use of a modal verb that comes into play. So in English, we have should, shall, would, will, okay, may, might, all those are the modal verbs in English. Let's look at three of the major ones today in French. So the first one that we have is pouvoir, which is to be able to. Now all these function as regular verbs, okay, regular as in like any other verb, modal verbs are also verbs. However, they are irregular when you're talking about the conjugation. So pouvoir is to be able to, or in simple words, it is the modal can, the modal showing your ability. Okay. So in the present tense, it is je peux, tu peux, il peut, nous pouvons, vous pouvez, il peut. Okay. So pouvoir, just like every other verb, it has its own unique conjugation especially because it is irregular then in the passé composé the participle of pouvoir is pu so it is j'ai pu tu as pu il a pu and so on in the imparfait you take off the ons from the new form and you add the endings that rule is the same je pouvais tu pouvais il pouvait and so on for the future simple it has an irregular root so it is not je pouvoir it is je pourrais tu pourras il pourra Nous pourrons, vous pourrez, il pourront. Okay, so this is the verb pouvoir in the four major tenses. You can easily get it in the passé récent, in the future trash, and in the conditionnel. Okay, now let's look at a couple of sentences using these models. Le professeur peut t'aider. The teacher can help you. Peut. Okay, ce chat pouvait dormir pendant une journée entière. This cat could sleep for an entire day. Could, okay, because this is the past tense. I'm parfait. The past tense of can is could. Next, we come to the next modal verb, which is vouloir. Vouloir is to wish or to want something. So, je veux, tu veux, il veut. This is the present tense. Nous voulons, vous voulez, il veut. Okay, you will see some kind of resemblance to Pouvoir. If you can get the resemblance sorted out, it will become very easy for you to learn both these together, especially in the present tense. Then in the passé composé, vouloir, the participle is voulu. Okay, OIR becomes you, so voulu. Then in the imparfait, you remove the ONS from the new form and add the endings. Becomes je voulais, tu voulais, il voulait, and so on. In the future symbol, it takes an irregular root as V O U T R. Becomes je voudrais, tu voudras. Il voudra, and so on. So look at two sample sentences here. Faites ce que vous voulez. Do what you want or do what you would like to do. Do what you want. Okay? Vous voulez, what you want. Je voulais une montre, mais j'ai reçu une chemise. I wanted a watch, but I received a shirt. Voulez here is in the past tense. Okay? Voulez, vou, uh, vouloir will sometimes function as a normal verb. And at times, it will function as a modal verb. Then you have the third one and the last one for today, which is devoir. Devoir is to have to do something, you need to do something, or in English as the modal, must. You must do something. And an interesting thing to note is when you take devoir in the conditional, that is 10 standard students, you know how to form the conditional now. So when you take devoir au conditionnel raison, you obtain the modal should. Okay, in the present tense it is must, in the conditional raison, the voir is should. So, je dois, tu dois, il doit, nous devons, vous devez, il doit. This is the voir in the present tense. Then, in the passé composé, the participle is du with a second flex on top of the u. Okay, that's important for spelling. Je du, tu as du, and so on. In the imparfait, you take off the ONS from the new form and it becomes je devais, tu devais, and so on. In the future simple, again, we have an irregular root, this T-E-V-R. So it becomes je devrais, tu devras, 
and so on. Now you know conditional is you take the same as the future root, but instead of attaching the AI AS endings, you attach the ampachte endings. So look at the sentence. You devrai partir à 8 heures ou tu seras en retard. You must leave by 8 o'clock or you will be late. Or you should leave at 8 o'clock. Can you see how the voir has been put into the conditional here? So it means you should. The voir in the conditional here is the future root followed by the impact thing ending. Okay, this one is in the present tense. Les jeunes doivent compléter le devoir avant de sortir. The kids or the young ones must complete their homework before they go out. Okay, doivent here is for il in the present tense. These are the three main modal verbs that students need to know at the class 9 and 10 level. We have done pouvoir, vouloir and devoir. Thank you.